I've referred to the M1 MacBook Air's battery life as biblical. I've even called it its best feature. But then recently I conducted a proper real world battery test and the results were fascinating. Welcome back to Mark Ellis Reviews. Thank you for subscribing if you already have. If you haven't, just click the button below and you will never miss an episode. So just how good is the M1 MacBook Air's battery life? Is it really as good as people like myself and other reviewers have suggested? And if you know this channel, you'll know that I'm not interested in benchmarks. I'm much more interested in seeing how it feels on a day-to-day -day basis. And when it comes to the battery, that means putting your trust in the fact that it won't run out halfway through a really important task. And from the start, I've been impressed with the battery life on this laptop. However, I did suddenly think the other day, I haven't tested this properly. I need to get my head around just how good it is. And the reason I did that was because I had one day where the battery life surprised me a little bit. It didn't seem to be quite as good as I'd experienced previously. So I thought I'd conduct a kind of fly in the wall battery life test of the M1 MacBook Air. So phone camera in hand. I spent an entire day just using that laptop. So the rules for this test were really, really simple. I just picked a completely random day. I didn't pick the day based on what I was doing that day to either test it or not test it. It was just totally random, just a, a random Wednesday. And I also promised myself that I wouldn't adjust my usage of the MacBook that day. So I wouldn't either try and run the battery down or try and preserve it. I would just use it normally. And to be honest, use it as though it was a desktop computer. Now what follows is all filmed on my iPhone. So excuse the quality and the shaky hand, but it was the best way of doing it really. Yeah. So here's what happened with the M1 MacBook Air over the course of a normal working day for me. Would it last a full day's work? And if it did, how much battery would remain at the end of the day? Good morning. I'm talking quietly because I'm not the only person in the house, but it is six. 6.07 a.m. The laptop has charged all night, so it's 100%. And yeah, this is the start of the a day in the life battery test. In terms of what I'm doing today, it's a bit of an admin type day. So I've got a lot of email to do, answering comments on YouTube, a bit of writing to do as well, some planning, some blogging. I've also got some calls, so some Zoom calls. And there's actually a bit of video editing I need to do. It's not for the channel, it's actually for a client. That's the one thing that I'm interested to see how much that impacts the battery life. But yeah, like I said in the intro, I'm not gonna modify my use. I'm gonna just use the laptop as I would do normally. And it will do everything today. I won't use a, another machine whatsoever. So yeah, I'll check back in a bit and see how we're getting on. So it is 8.26 a.m. I've been working for about an hour and 50, hour, hour and 45 minutes roughly, and the battery's at 91%. In terms of what I've done over that time, so I've lost 9% battery, and in that time it's purely been pretty much email and web browsing, uh, using things like YouTube Studio, doing some stuff in Google Docs, that's it really, but yeah, 9% left. It stayed on 100% for ages actually. Um, what you tend to find is that once it goes off 100%, it tends to drop a little bit more quickly. Um, but that time that it stays on 100% for is longer than any laptop I've owned. You know, most laptops hit the 99% and start decreasing fairly rapidly after that. With these M1 Max, yeah, it's quite impressive actually. Excuse my deep voice, it's early and I'm still tired, but I'll come back soon. So I thought I'd quickly jump on because I've been having a quick chat with the lovely people on the Marketless Reviews Discord server. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to join, it's free. And a very nice person called Telly, hello Telly, um, was asking about the experiment that I'm doing with this MacBook. And he said, you know, what, what's the screen brightness set at? And I suddenly thought, well, actually, I don't know, because <laughs> I've just started using it. I'm not really doing any kind of technical test with this. Um, so I'm using it as I would do normally. But I have checked and actually it's pretty much full full brightness. Uh, one off actually if you want to be super specific about it. So um, yeah, that was just quite an interesting point I thought that, that Telly made because I just hadn't thought about that. I'm just using it. So all the settings on this laptop are just how I would normally use them. And at the moment the screen is at full brightness. It is now 10.39 a.m. and I have 67% battery left and I've done as near as makes no difference, nearly four hours of work. Uh, how do I feel about that? It's interesting, I think. I mean, it's, you know, halfway through the morning. I do start very early, I should point that out. So I am, um, I typically start between six and half six a.m. because I'm weird. Um, but that's, that's why I've kind of accumulated those hours so far. So I guess I've done about half a day's work really, which, you know, not bad. I have to reiterate that I'm just using this laptop normally. And that obviously means that I am leaving apps open, for example. I'm not particularly good in terms of closing apps. I'm not bad at closing tabs on Safari, but um, 
yeah, when it comes to app management, I'm pretty, pretty dreadful really. So just show you what I've got open now. So I currently have Safari open, Spark email, Fantastical, Toggle, Omnifocus, Trello, Slack, Notes, Ulysses, Day One, and Discord open. So, and in terms of tabs on Safari, I've only got one open at the moment, to be fair, but I have been using multiple tabs. I've got a bit more normal work to do. Uh, after lunch, I'm gonna attempt to do some video editing, not attempt, I'm gonna do some video editing, and we'll see what that has, uh, what influence that has on the battery. So yeah, stay tuned. I, I thought an update because I've just opened Teams and Teams always bothers me. I have no no evidence to back this up or anything to substantiate it at all. But I do worry that Teams drains the battery a little bit. Not using Chrome at the moment. I don't really use Chrome much. I occasionally use it. I might need to use it later. If I do, I will. But like I said from the start, really, I'm not going to invent ways to try and make this battery drain or not drain. So this is just my normal work. But yeah, 60% remaining, you know, four, four hours, 40 minutes of work. Not bad at all. It is now 12.03 p.m., about the sort of time that I stop for a bit, go for a run, have something to eat. I've done about five hours of work so far, and there is 55% battery left. And again, just to reiterate, the work I've done has been fairly standard, really. It's just been email, writing, a bit of Teams work. I do think it's going to get fairly interesting after lunch, though, because... That is when I've got to do a little bit of video editing and I've got some calls as well to make. So I've got some Teams calls, I think a Zoom call to do as well. So I think certainly the, the video editing is going to put a bit more strain on the battery and it'll be inter interesting to see how much further I get into the day with this. But I'm impressed. I've never done this test in, in this kind of analysis with the 16-inch MacBook Pro, but I think I know I wouldn't trust it to last this long. I might do it at some stage and report back, but... I don't think I'd have 54% battery left on the on the 16 inch at this time, you know, having done five hours of work. That's not bad. I mean, that's, that's a lot of work, you know, and, um, but, you know, I've got another half day to go really. So let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm off for a run, you know, a bite to eat and I will update you in a bit. Okay, so that's lunch and run finished, not in that order. And I just wanted to make a quick point on the standby time on the MacBook Air, the M1 MacBook Air. It's, I mentioned this in my review, which I'll link to. Um, it's amazing. And not many people seem to mention this for some reason in their reviews, but I wanted to make a point of it because I think it's really important. I want to know that when I close this laptop and come back to it several hours later, it's going to have lost hardly any battery life. It's, it's always the case. So 53% now, it's lost 2% actually. Um, but again, given the fact that I've left all the apps open that I was using before, and I've been out for an hour or so, it's, yeah, that's perfectly, perfectly acceptable, perfectly reasonable. So I'm gonna head into my afternoon now, and as I mentioned before, it involves a bit more, a bit, more, bit harder work for the computer, including some video editing and a few calls and things. So we will see how it gets on. I just thought I'd quickly chip in and mention the fact that I do have some background tasks running. I think that's quite important to mention, but nothing strenuous, so I have, in no particular order, uh, Dropbox. I also have Day One, which is kind of a background app. I'm, I'm basically going on things that are in the top, the top menu bar. So Dropbox, Day One, the Fantastical, Fantastical Helper. Try and say that when you're drunk. The Adobe, Adobe Management thing, which sits at the top and updates your Adobe apps, and Toggle, which is just the, my timer app that I use to time how much work I'm doing. That's it. So I'm not running any other performance monitors monitors in the background. It's not doing any screen recording or anything like that. Just thought I'd mention it. Um, I have undertaken a Teams call. It was about 20 minutes or so. In the last time, since I last updated you, we're down to 41%. So still not worried. I've done six hours of work, which is pretty good. But it's only two o'clock and I won't finish work really until about half five. So let's see how it goes. Now 3.17 p.m. and I have 23% remaining. And according to Toggle, I have done about seven hours of work. So I suppose if you bear in mind that most typical work days, I don't know what a typical work day is, but they apparently exist and they're normally about eight hours. So not bad, I think, but I'm getting a bit worried because I haven't really started that video edit yet. I've faffed around a little bit in Final Cut Pro, but I've had to wait for something to come back from someone else before I can carry on. So I'm going to do that in a moment, hopefully. I don't know if it's just me, but the battery seems to be draining quicker this afternoon. It feels like it is. That might not be the case. I'll have to have a look back. But 20 past three, I've got over two hours left of work today. Will it get through? 
If you've ever watched that Top Gear episode where Jeremy Clarkson tries to do the length and breadth of the UK in one tank of fuel, this feels a bit like that. So 4pm now and I have 14% battery left and that equates to about seven, seven and a half hours work, give or take. I still haven't done that video edit. I'll be doing it in the moment because I now have the stuff that I need. Will 14% see me through that? I don't know if this matters actually, but I'm going to mention it. So I have been, what I need to use for this video edit is the dongle, this USB dongle, because the footage is on a little behind the scenes thing here for you. The footage is on that drive back there. So I'm having to use that. So some power will be drawn, I'm guessing from that. Maybe that's having an effect on it. It does just feel like it's draining a bit quicker at the moment and Again, I've got an hour and a half of work to go. I've got another Teams call to undertake, quite a brief one, thankfully. Is it going to see me through that and the video edit and the other little bits of work I've got to do? I'm not convinced it will. So, okay, let's, let's do this. It's happened. So, 4.15pm, 10% remaining, and that means the little battery icon has gone red and it now tells me that my Mac will go to sleep soon unless I plug it into a power outlet. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. I need to think about this. It's You can probably tell it surprised me, actually. Um, yeah, it has surprised me. And once you, anyone who has a Mac or any laptop, really, I think once you get to 10%, you'll know that at that point you've got to plug in. You know, particularly if you're working, you don't want to lose anything. At the moment, I'm in, in the middle of a video edit. You know, I do, I do not want to lose anything while I'm doing this. So there you go. I'm going to stop this kind of diary thing now and go back to the studio once I've had a bit of time to, to think this over and th kind of work out how I feel about it. But that's it. Just gone quarter past four and I've got 10% battery life. I've, I've got to plug in. I have to plug in. Otherwise, I might lose my work. So yeah, back to me in the studio. Now, immediately after that test, I went on my private Discord server. I'll put a link below in the description because it's free to join at the moment and lots of people are coming on board and we're having some great chats. It's, it's a lot of fun. Get on board if you can. But yeah, I went on to that Discord server and just said to people, look, I'm running this test. I finished the day. How much battery life do you think is left on this M1 MacBook Air? And the answers ranged from 40% to 70%. And when I told them that it had actually run out within eight hours, they were just shocked. And then someone said, oh, hang on a minute, you were using Teams, and Teams is a terrible battery hog, it's got loads of memory leaks. Try it again, close Teams, and just do the test again. I did exactly that the next day. I did not use Teams. The only thing I did, actually, on this second test that was a little bit different was a bit of work in Lightroom, and with Teams closed, it did worse. And on that second test, I actually reached that dreaded 10% mark in 7.5 hours. I'm just really surprised actually. But it leaves me with two questions really, which is one, do I have a defective battery in my M1 MacBook Air? And two, has there just been too much hyperbole about the, 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 the battery life? I really don't know. I need to do more tests. I need to think about it a bit more. I would, I'd love your opinion. So get involved in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Is it the apps I'm using? I'll put a list of the apps in the description. What is it? Is it the way I'm using the laptop? Now, if it's either of those things, and it's not a defective battery, that's a bit disappointing from my point of view because my use is pretty typical, I think. Like I say, I wasn't doing anything strenuous. I never got to do that video edit that I was planning to do. It was just web services, email, writing, nothing out of the ordinary, a few calls. And yeah, I accept that apps like Teams and certain other apps that I'm probably using aren't particularly great when it comes to memory usage and the impact that has on battery life, but I use them, I need to use them. I'm not gonna start using this MacBook Air in a way that preserves battery life. I've got no interest in that. I was a bit disappointed, but I'd love to know what you think. So please do get involved in the comments below. And on a related topic, if you're really struggling at the moment to choose between the M1 MacBook Air and the M1 MacBook Pro, I've recently put together a, I think, fairly useful buying guide. So carry on watching for a link to that video. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.